Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here we're back with another video and today I want to talk about a few coins, alright, one of them being SXP Swipe, okay, so Swipe is, okay, just got a little uh, order field over there, uh, so don't mind that, but Swipe is basically coming out of this um, accumulation level over here, okay, and we're starting to see it begin to break above this back above this resistance line okay after this huge sell-off all the way down to roughly about two dollars and fifty cents all right maybe a little bit lower um but yeah it's definitely gaining some ground now it's coming back out into this zone all right and where do i expect it to go from here okay we could draw some new resistance lines but these are very thin. All right, guys, I expect there to be a nice rise to the upside, especially when considering the news and so on, okay? Obviously, we've got the weekend to get through first, okay? Well, next week could be a good time for Swipe SXP, okay? We did expect some fireworks last week, but we didn't quite get them. Quite normal, um, especially considering we've seen this price rise okay but swipe is definitely one that is being accumulated and a lot of people are showing some interest in there's a lot of uh, perks and a lot of uh, good things to come for swipe a lot of good things available even now and the swipe wallet has had some issues uh, but there's been an upgrade on the ios app and it's definitely in a better place than what it was the other day okay uh, you've also got the instant transfers that we talked about that's always going to be helpful um, seen a few comments of people are a little bit excited about that uh, because um, there's nothing worse, um, you know, trying to get in and out of an exchange uh, when you're trying to transfer your crypto. I mean, it's, it's fine. You've got time to wait. When you're transferring it from the exchange to the wallet, that's fine. But getting it from the wallet to the exchange, we need that to happen instantly because if you want to sell your crypto, for example, at the top, okay, and you want to send your crypto over to the exchange to do that you really need that to be done as quickly as possible all right so binance okay not qcoin but binance um um exchange um withdrawals to and from uh the crypto wallet the swipe wallet um supporting btc and other cryptocurrencies as well as swipe um you know those transfers will be instant if you're doing it from binance okay can't say the same for qcoin or anywhere else okay but if you're doing it from binance it's definitely or it should be so they claim it to be instant all right guys so that's definitely something that um, you can look forward to and have some confidence in okay so swipe he's got a bullish macd cross which is gaining some ground and hopefully we can see some momentum to the upside going into next week the rsi has curled around all right so we need to see that continue up as well we need to see an accumulative swing all the way up to here okay nothing too major but once we take out that level it's going to go back into price discovery and we could see a very large free wave all the way up to the top uh, i personally feel that that is possible okay guys so yeah we'll have to wait and see how that plays out and i love to say that because at the end of the day we don't know really really know what's going to happen in this market do we we can all we could we could all get wrecked you know something crazy could just happen and you could just dump to the downside but yeah i don't think it's i don't think that will happen and um, we've got a banking partner announcement still to come the launch in the u.s still to come we've got platinum card you've got um swipe launching in another region soon to come which hasn't been named yet so quite a few things going on for swipe i want to talk a little bit about sharing okay share token or sharing all right guys i saw a tweet um or a couple of tweets this morning okay and that was from the ceo timothy imagine if there was a DeFi product that allows you to trade between fiat currencies and or top cryptos instantly and with almost zero fees and imagine if you could stake your fee at stablecoin crypto and earn a high apr percentage from every swap 
hashtag coming soon, sharing global. Or what if you could take out a loan on your state loans, uh, state token, sorry, and use it to pay for goods, services, or travel? That will be a hashtag game changer, hashtag coming soon. So definitely a few hints there that there are some things coming soon to sharing. So if you didn't see that, you heard it here first. All right, guys. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. The sharing price has been correcting for some time now since roughly the beginning of August. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can see that's coming down a lot. Um, if you look on the Bitmark chart, there was some you know a little bit of a scare tactic there um, could be a glitch you know but yeah as you can see sharing did fall all the way down within a couple of minutes and was whipped all the way back up all right so that doesn't look too pretty okay but well, if you did get in down there you would be nice so if you did have some buy orders there's a chance that they could have been filled okay but uh yeah not very likely you know that's not something that happens much but on low liquidity exchanges i mean it's definitely something that you could kind of leave some fear on the sidelines or put them low buy orders in i remember when uh, somebody i think somebody got bitcoin for like a dollar a few months back or was early last year or early this year sorry and on a certain exchange japanese exchange there was a crash all the way down and a few people managed to get bitcoin, bitcoin up for a dollar and then it went straight back up to like almost 10k and laughing all the way to the bank so yeah it's definitely possible um for these things to happen especially on these low liquidity exchanges all right well bitmart is quickly becoming one of my favorite exchanges for the simple fact they've got some coins on here that are catching my interest all right guys now one project that i wanted to talk about is reserve rights okay Heard it mentioned a few times in the, in the groups. Heard it mentioned a few times on my channel through the comments and such. And when looking at the chart, it does look like it's in a clear uptrend. All right, guys, but it is finding some resistance over here. That is not giving a clear breakthrough on that, but there's still time for that to happen. All right. And we would need to see that level break now to see it continue this uptrend whether it's getting rejected now it continues down we'll have to wait and see how that plays out all right guys but why i don't want to talk about reserve rights is because it is getting a bit of hype around it i'll be honest i don't know much about it all right so i'm looking at it now and i thought i would just do this while i'm on the video okay so pool of stable coins okay you can download the white paper two tokens power to reserve protocols so you got Reserve right, reserve and um, reserve rights, RSR. Okay. Um, it looks like Coinbase is invested in reserve rights, it's a Coinbase venture. And um, that's always good news for a project, isn't it? I mean, one of the biggest exchanges in the world, um, if not the biggest, and biggest custody holder in the world, I'd, I'd assume okay so reserve rights at first glance at the website it does look uh, kind of okay all right let's have a read and see what reserve rights is about and this is not for you guys that already know what it's about all right i'm new to reserve rights i don't know much about it all right i do like i say i have seen the name floating about a lot okay and it's just one that i thought i would look into now uh, based on the fact that i keep hearing it okay price action is looking okay uh, we've got it at two cents at the moment it's ranked number 76 which is another thing that caught my eye but it is a hundred billion total supply which is not that attractive to me okay we're looking at you know that's like ripple supply you know xrp you know that's a lot take a lot of money coming into this currently at 176 million so that's quite high um, but it's quite low considering the total supply as well all right guys 15 million volume which is okay it's decent it's all right all right and it's on quite a few exchanges as we can see already okay but it hasn't reached the q coins the q coins and the binances yet all right all the coin bases of course but there is some potential for that all right guys 
And yeah, this is definitely one that you know you should keep an eye on because you know you got to follow the money sometimes. You got to follow the hype. You know, if people keep talking about reserve rights, there's a high chance that it's going to get a pump. All right, guys. And obviously, as we can see, it's already doing something. You know, uh, we have to lower the time frame so we can see the chart a little bit more clearly in its fullest. But um, yeah, reserve rights. You can see, if you, if you look at it and you zoom out like that, it looks like it's not really done anything yet. Do you know what I mean? And so there's potential for a huge, you know, for a huge, you know, um, market cycle to the upside, potentially, considering the fact that it's only been around since June. Uh, well, on here, since June. Okay, let me, let me make sure I'm not making things up. Let me go back to the chart. Coinbase with the uh, yeah, coin market cap. Give me a okay. Since uh, May 2019, okay, so probably a year and a half old. Okay, that, that's still quite new, guys. Uh, obviously, you can see on here paints a, a better picture of the uh, the price action at the moment. You know, it is kind of up quite a lot. All right, if we go down to its previous lows, we're looking at around one tenth of a penny or, or a cent. And looking at the highs are roughly around two cents. All right, currently where we're sitting around now. So it's definitely gone up a couple of thousand percent already. And um, yeah, the volume is looking all right. Okay, um, could that be the one and then the three? We come back down and get a five wave maybe. Yeah, yeah, reserve rights is definitely one that um, I'm, I'm not taking any positions on okay not at the moment at least all right guys i want to watch sometimes i like to watch i've said it i keep saying this but i like to watch the charts and see what they're doing all right it helps, helps me make an informed decision helps me with other trades as well okay and it doesn't mean to say i won't take position in this eventually all right but you know it's always good to watch and see how the charts perform all right guys even if it's for the sake of education it's always going to help you out in a different trade or in a different token you know, so yeah, that's reserve rights. Um, you know, can't give you any real uh, fundamentals on it because I haven't really checked it out. All right, guys, I was just when I was making a video, I thought, what else can I add to this? And I thought, you know what, maybe it's time to kind of throw reserve rights into the mix. Sometimes it only takes a few seconds for you to decide whether you know whether a crypto is for you or not. To be honest, when you look on a website, you know, and then you'll decide whether you you okay, our internet topic capital. Sometimes you can decide whether you even want to, you would even consider investing in it, even off your first few minutes. But, you know, that's definitely something that's caught my eye. The fact that it's a Coinbase venture. You know, I don't know, guys, should I know these things already? I, I, see, them, I see it being mentioned, but I mean, one thing you'll notice about me uh, on my um, channel, I don't really follow the hype that much. Do you know what I mean? Like, all the coins that we've been trading and making money on together, a lot of them nobody is even talking about. You know, for example, Tweeba. Nobody's talking about Tweeba. Tweet, T W E E. Okay, I'm the only one that's doing it. All right. Spark Point. How many people are talking about Spark Point? All right. S R K. All right. Not many. Okay. Sharing. How many people are talking about sharing? Not many. All right. Player. Not many. Okay. I think outside the box, guys. You know, I'm not really a sheep. You know, I'm a sheep to the Lord Jesus Christ, but I'm not really a sheep. So I don't follow the masses, do you know what I mean? So I'm always thinking outside the box, thinking, okay, let me find something that hasn't popped yet, which is one of the reasons why I like to use Bitmart, okay? Because Bitmart has a lot of coins that are under the radar, okay? A lot of coins that are under the radar. And um, when they get on here, a lot, of, a lot of the time, it's the first exchange that they've been on, or, or you know, one of the very few. Okay, so by the time it gets to Qcorn or Binance, we've already up like 5,000%, 4,000%. You know, we're already making serious gains by the time it gets to these large exchanges. And then we're selling our coins to the people buying them on those exchanges a lot of the time. Okay, so yeah, that's my strategy, uh, one of them anyway. And um, yeah, it's been working out pretty well for me, guys. Okay, I'll just bring it to an end there, all right, because I've been going on for a bit. I weren't really prepared with the RSR. But yeah, RSR does look like one at first glance. It looks like one that's, that's quite okay. All right, we'll have to see if Swipe can get that pump. A lot of people are expecting it. We'll have to see whether that plays out okay. 
But yeah, that's enough for now. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think, guys. And I'll see you again in the next video.